Sister Aisha from the KSA is asking about the whispers of Satan during Ramadan. She says that may happen in other days, but in Ramadan, uh, is it the uh, uh, inner desire or the whispers of oneself, not Satan, because Satan is changed? The hadith which says, وَصُفِّدَتِ well, الشَّيَاطِينَ and Satan's are being chained during Ramadan is explained in other hadith وَصُفِّدَتْ مَرَدَتُ الشَّيَاطِينَ not all satans are chained but the the most aggressive the very violent uh, the most dangerous the married maradatu shayateen are being chained but not all of them and also it is true that uh, one has his own evil inner desire so it is not only satan who whispers to us allah the almighty said in surah yusuf Counting, recounting what Imra'atul Aziz, the first lady in Egypt, said after confessing and admitting her sin of trying to seduce Prophet Yusuf السلام, She said, وَمَا أُبَرِّئُ نَفْسِي إِنَّ النَّفْسَ لَأَمَّارَةٌ بِالسُّوءٍ إِلَّا مَا رَحِمَ رَبِّي إِنَّ رَبِّي غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمٌ إِنَّ النَّفْسَ لَأَمَّارَةٌ بِالسُّوءٍ oneself is inclined into evil naturally this is like a human nature inna al insana khuliqa halu'a idha massahu al sharr jazu'a wa idha massahu al khayr manu'a this is the human nature which we are created with illa so allah the almighty have mercy on certain people he spares them he saves them from their evil desire and even if they have this whisper they know how to overcome that by doing the following وَإِمَّا يَنْزَغَنَّكَ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ نَزْغٌ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ Surah Fussilat When Satan whispers to you then seek refuge in Allah He is all hearer He is all knowing Say أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمُ That whisper would not harm you I um, want to go back to the concept of hadith on nafs the inner desire and uh, the evil thoughts which course uh, the person's mind the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam once said to aisha radiyallahu anha when as a woman as a co-wife she missed the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam once and uh, she thought that he may have left her room and went to another wife and she kept looking for him and he was sitting praying in her room he said, أَجَاءَكِ شَيْطَانُكِ قَرِينُكِ Has your Satan come to you and whisper to you? She said, do I have one? He said, of course, not a single person, but they have a qareen. A person, every person, has a qareen, a companion of Satan's, a companion of the jinn, who is with you wherever you go, to whisper to you, to make you do the evil. This is a commitment that Satan, as shaytan or rajim, did once he was expel, expelled uh, from heaven then he said and Allah the Almighty said that you're giving this respite until the day of judgment she said even you O messenger of Allah you do have this qareen he said even me but Allah has assisted me and فأسلم either my qareen have accepted Islam or فأسلم منه and I am immune against his whispers so every one of us have this qareen who whisper to us in addition to our inner desire. You can overcome that by seeking refuge in Allah the Almighty by saying, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم or أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم or أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم من همزه ونفخه ونفثه by reciting Quran, by doing any act of obedience so that increases the level of your iman and it weakens the influence and the effect of Satan. Assalamu alaikum.